Dear students, welcome to the problem solving sessions on Fourier series and the under the interval minus pi comma pi. In the part one video, we are dealing with the problems f of x equal to x and f of x equal to mod x. In today's video, we are going to see a very important problem that is f of x is equal to x square with different deductions. Those who don't watch the part one video, you can go to the playlist and see the videos for x and x square and you can learn some basics from there and come back to this video. Let us go into the problem. My given function is x square and we know that it is an even function and we see different deductions are given to us like one deduction as power 2 and here the last deduction as power 4. So now how to deal this problem? Whenever you see the problem with two different powers, when this power is double than the other, then it is obvious. We remember we use Percival's identity or Percival's theorem. Okay, let us go into the problem. As usual, step 1, we have to write the limits. My limit here is minus pi to pi. So, I will write the given function under the limit minus pi to pi. Step 2, when you write minus pi to pi, immediately you have to write the corresponding formula. That's why you see in my videos why I am doing step by step. You should never do errors when you do like this. So, step 1, if you write this limits, then step 2, you have to write the corresponding Fourier series formula. Now, the Fourier series formula is a naught by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x and a naught is going to be 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x dx. Similarly, a n is going to be f of x cos n x dx and b n is going to be f of x sin n x dx. Once we write the formula, our step 3 is the very important property. We know this property. So, minus pi to pi f of x dx x will be 0 if my function is an odd function or it will be twice 0 to pi if my function is an even function. Then step 4, we have to write the results. If the function is even function, then b n is going to be 0. If the function is an odd function, then a naught a n is equal to 0. Suppose you don't know why this is happening, you just go to the basic videos and you can watch why b n is 0 when f of x is even and a naught a n 0 when f of x is an odd function respectively. So, after this, step 4 gets over. Now, let us write our function given in the problem. f of x equal to x square, it is very obvious, it is an even function. Therefore, you have to write by above property. We can say bn equal to 0, time saving. Now, we are going to do only an and a naught. So, let us do step 5. Find a naught and a n. Then again you have to write by property, I can change this as 2 times 1 by pi 0 to pi f of x dx. It is easy for me to solve the problem under the limit 0 to pi instead of minus pi to pi. Now, the function is x square. So, integrating, I will be getting x cube by 3, 0 to pi. When you substitute the limit, pi pi get cancelled and my a naught will be 2 pi square by 3. And very important to me is a naught by 2, that is what I am going to substitute in the final answer, pi square by 3. So, this is done. Next, we have to find a n. a n is 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x cos n x dx. As I said in the earlier video also students, throughout the Fourier series, what? Whenever the problem comes, either the limit minus pi to pi or 0 to 2 pi or general limit minus L to L, 0 to 2 L, we are going to use this techniques and we always make the problem either 0 to L or 0 to pi. This will be very comfortable for us to solve because we have the third topic, half range Fourier sine series and cosine series where we are going to do the same. So, if you have a practice here, then it is very much helpful for you people to crack half range in a simple way. Now, by the property, I am going to write this as simply 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. Done. Next, substituting the value x square cos nx dx. Obviously, we have to move to the Bernoulli's 
formula. So integral x square cos nx dx, I have to choose u as diminishing function that is x square, u dash is 2x, double dash is 2 and triple dash is going to be 0. So I will have three terms because the power of x is 2, u, u dash, u double dash survives. From u triple dash everything is 0. So dv is cos nx dx, v is going to be sin nx by n, integration of v that is v1 is minus cos nx by n square, then v2 is going to be minus sin nx by n cube. So, I am doing all the integration here. Now, mapping uv u dash v1 u double dash v2 we know the bernoulli's formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc we need only three terms so i am just going to substitute this terms and i am going to crack the problem so when you substitute and you can write like this now it is very clear i said whenever you see sine at the limit 0 comma pi or 0 comma 2 pi or 0 comma 2 l or 0 comma l wherever just make it zero very simple so here i have sine in two places so it is zero for me so my an is going to be 2 by pi minus into minus plus i am going to take this 2 outside and n square outside so i have x into cos n x 0 to pi so 4 by pi n square when i apply my lower limit it becomes zero when i apply my upper limit pi into cos n pi 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 get cancelled so i can rewrite like this my an is going to be finally 4 by n square and my cos n pi is minus 1 all power n so i found an so an is ready a naught by 2 is ready pi square by 3 now write your for your series my f of x is going to be a naught by 2 <coughs> summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x b n is 0 the term is going to be 0 so substitute a naught value and a n value and take this as equation 1 now the problem gets over but the deductions still exist let us do the deductions one by one and you remember my interval is minus pi to pi so if i take a point zero it is a continuous point then if you take minus pi or pi this is a open interval so they are discontinuous points so let us see which is suitable for me i am going for direction two first because that is very easy for me you see here one minus two square one by one minus one by two square plus one by three square etc so now i am going to take x equal to zero this is going to be very simple when i substitute here what happened cos 0 become 1 so odd powers become negative and even powers become positive here but since x equal to 0 is the point of continuity the problem is going to be simple first i will take the lhs that is my f of x at x equal to 0 my function is x square so i can directly substitute the value here it will become 0 so my lhs is 0 now i have to go for my rhs my rhs is pi square by 3 plus 4 summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n by n square cos n 0 we know that cos 0 is 1 so it is going to be easy for me to get the rhs so it is simply one i am writing like this now i am going to equate this lhs and rhs if you do both the data together sometimes you may do error sometimes it look very ugly so took lhs and rhs even you do some error here if you do the right hand side or left hand side error then at least the other side if it is correct you will get some marks okay next i am going to equate lhs and rhs my lhs is zero and rhs is this now i am bringing to the other side so by expanding this i'll be getting minus one by one square so as i said odd power is going to be minus one even power is going to be plus one so when i put n equal to one minus two one by two square minus one by three square etc that is going to be my minus pi square by three but in the deduction i want even number power is going to be negative so i'll take one minus outside so it is very convenient for me 
now it will become 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square etc. It is going to be minus pi square by 3. Then I can write the final answer in a very simplified way. And dear student listen, we have four deductions here and in exams they cannot ask you all four deductions but I am doing all the four deductions in one problem. In exam there is a chance they may ask one deduction if it is a part B question. They can ask two deductions it is when it is a part C question. So now this is ready. Next we go for deduction 1. In this deduction everything is positive. So do we remember cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n. For odd value I will be getting minus 1. For even power I will be getting plus 1. So if I choose x equal to pi and substituting in 1 what will happen? We will have minus 1 whole power n already there. Then we will be getting cos n pi. This is again minus 1 whole power n. So minus 1 whole power n into minus 1 whole power n. It will become minus 1 whole power 2n. Simply it is going to be 1 because minus 1 whole square is simply what? 1. So if it is even power the answer is 1. That is the idea. Now we have to deal the LHS. Whenever I choose the point which is n discontinuity, our limit is minus pi to pi. Therefore, f of x at the point x equal to pi, which is a discontinuous point, I have to find the average of two n points in the limit. That is f of minus pi plus f of pi by 2. Here, luckily, my f of x is x square. Either you put minus pi or you put plus pi, you will be getting pi square. So, pi square plus pi square by 2, it's going to be pi square. So, my LHS is ready. Next, we have to deal the RHS. In my RHS, I have pi square by 3, 4 times summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n by n square cos n pi. And we know that cos n pi is going to be minus 1 whole power n. As I said, minus 1 whole power n minus 1 whole power n is going to be simply 1 because it is going to be minus 1 whole power 2n. Therefore, my right hand side will become very simple. Pi square by 3 plus 4 times n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square. Now let us equate my LHS and RHS. Now take this pi square by 3 to the other side. We will be getting pi square minus pi square by 3 is equal to 4 times because this is 1. I am going to write 1 by 1 square, 1 by square, 1 by 3 square etc. So simplifying this we will be getting 2 pi square by 3. When I bring this 4 to the denominator, I will be getting the deduction in the right hand side. So this is pi square by 6. You can see the typed version. So 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square etc. up to infinity is pi square by 6. Now the third deduction is going to be little challenging. It has only odd power. It has only odd terms with squares but all are positive. So it is little tricky. If you think you can easily crack this. Now you see the first identity is 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square etc. The second identity as even number powers with negative and odd number powers with positive. Now if you add these two equations, what will happen? This and this will get cancelled. I will be getting only the odd term power 2. So if I add this, my RHS is going to be pi square by 6 plus pi square by 12. I can take the LCM in a very simple way, 3 pi square by 12. Then when you add this, I will be getting 1 by 3 square, 1 by 5 square etc. All the odd terms twice. So I will take this 2 outside. So therefore, my final solution is going to be pi square by 8. So 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square etc. is equal to pi square divided by 8. And we come to the final deduction part. It has power 4. So now I cannot use my usual technique substituting some values for the Fourier series because in my Fourier series I have 1 by n square. Here the power is 4. So what can I do? Do you remember the classical Parcel's identity for Fourier series? This is the general formula when the limit is a to b. But our limit is minus pi to pi. So b minus a will be pi minus of minus pi that is 2 pi. So 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi f of x all square dx. So I am writing the formula in the type 
person now it is crystal clear a not by 2 is there a n is there b n is 0 we know f of x is x square when you substitute this i am damn sure that we will achieve this deduction let us go so now we know a not by 2 is pi square by 3 immediately if you take a square on both sides i'll be getting pi square by 9 a n is going to be 4 by n square minus 1 whole power n when you do a n square you will be immediately getting 16 by n power 4 minus 1 whole power 2n and we know that minus 1 whole power 2n is simply 1 so keeping all this data in our mind will crack the problem so this is going to be pi power 4 by 9 1 by 2 then i will take this 16 outside summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n power 4 this 1 by 2 pi minus pi to pi since using the property i can write it as 2 times 0 to pi x power 4 dx hope you understand students now simplifying this we'll be getting pi power 4 by 9 plus 8 summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n power 4 integration of x power 4 will give x power 5 by 5 upper limit is pi and lower limit is 0 now when i try to simplify further i can get the identity so i am just keeping this term alone in the lhs and i am taking all the other terms to the rhs i will cancel this i will be getting pi power 4 by 5 so when i bring the when i bring this to the right hand side and taking 8 to the denominator i'll be getting like this so use your calculator students you don't want to mm, get error when you do lcm and you can easily get the lcm simplifying this i'll be getting 5 power 4 by 90 therefore 1 by 1 power 4 plus 1 by 2 power 4 etc the solution is 5 power 4 by 90 and proved. so as i said this problem is very important it contains four different identities deductions so when you solve the problem they can ask any two and you can be easily crack with this techniques what we are using properties etc thank you students subscribe our channel share it to your friends if you have any doubts post your comments in the comment box post your queries we'll see in the next video bye bye